Three days ago, a brick kiln stood here. Now it has been demolished. This was the brutal home and workplace of 31 workers until its existence was uncovered by journalists secretly filming. These are the images which provoked an uproar in China, workers held in virtual slavery making bricks. The supervision was abusive, the conditions filthy and dangerous. Children as young as eight years old were working 14-hour days under constant watch, subjected to beatings and forced to sleep on bricks. A police crackdown on kilns like this one has now seen more than 500 people freed in Shanxi and Henan provinces. More than 160 people have been detained by police, including the owner of the kiln that started the scandal, Hong Ting Han. He was arrested while on the run in nearby Hubei province. Many of the workers say they were cheated or forced into this gruelling labour. A number of children who were missing presumed dead have reappeared in places like this. This woman was overcome after recognising her child on the secretly taken video of one of the kilns. The police raids of the past three days may have freed hundreds from this horror, but raises questions about how widespread the practice is. Paul Allen, Al Jazeera.